Dozens of supporters of Switchpoint were eager to learn more about a new way of fresh farming without using a lot of water. They gathered for a tour of the Community Resource Center's new greenhouse, Rise Garden. It's going to be a rare opportunity as we the greenhouse gets more and more developed and we have more and more growth happening. Fewer and fewer people will be allowed in there. Transitioning from a hot 100 degree temperature in southern Utah outside, the tour groups were amazed at the stark difference of the environment on the inside. The Rise Garden Greenhouse was just completed earlier this spring. Uh, this is brand new for me. Right. Uh, we started building in February and that was a learning curve for us. There was only three of us building it. And then once we started growing, I was on the phone a lot with Tower Gardens and they're very helpful in coaching and uh, getting us ready to make our harvest. The first one of its kind in Utah, it looks like something you'd see in a futuristic movie. A series of white vertical towers support little growing pods where it, plants can thrive. Well, it doesn't have to uh, go through its energy and burn up its nutrient store to just stay alive. And so when it still has the roots on it, and we're going to give it to you with roots on it, um, it's close to peak nutrition value once you get it. And so and it's, the flavor will be a lot more crisp and sweet. While the process does require electricity, this may soon be the most sustainable way to feed local communities. At the base of each tower is a 20-gallon tank of water, which is systematically pumped up inside and rains down from the top, alternating a short time for air in between. This makes for a perfect growing bed. What's for three minutes, off for 12. So it goes through the whole cycle and starts right over. I like the concept. I like the fact that it's up, not in the ground. I like the fact that it waters regularly, it's fertilized regularly, and is aerated. So, and there's no weeding, there's no pesticides, there's no issues. I mean, everything just grows like crazy. These grow 164 plants. So it's quite tedious to plant these, and they grow really quick. So these have only been here two weeks and they're almost ready to harvest as is. And it waters this tower, this whole row for three minutes and then shuts off and goes to that one and then repeats itself. So we got 165 towers. We got 15 of uh, the, the baby green towers, which carry 164 plants and these carry 44 and we got 145 of these. It would take about 10 acres of land to grow the plants inside these columns the traditional farming way. What we're more proud of is the fact that it only uses 10% of the amount of water of what you would use outside because it's recirculated. People on the tour were amazed at what they were seeing, feeling, and hearing. It's incredible. Yeah. Really smart people. Yeah, really smart people. Oh my God. Amazing. amazing. It just means, yes. Different varieties of green leafy plants start out here as a seedling and begin germinating inside this ideal environment. They grow organically in a pod doused with special nutrients and the proper pH balance. And I look for a specific color. I want it to be light green or even to an uh, orange tint. Ah, that's a little dark green. So I, this is actually becoming alkaline now. Samples of the greens were given out and were empty by the time the tour was over. While the greens will be eaten by residents at Switchpoint, various memberships will be offered to the public in support of their mission. The VIP Advocate subscription for $65 monthly uh, for a bag of, of four items you know, that's coming every week. We'll have three kinds of head, heads of lettuce or four kinds, and then we'll have the variety, at least like four varieties of the microgreens or baby greens. I love to harvest and share the harvest and this is exactly that. And everyone that buys from Switchpoint, they're sharing the harvest because 20% of what they pay for, we give back to Switchpoint. Yeah, we're gonna do the monthly program. I think this is a great opportunity to get something fresh. I believe things that are grown and you can eat them right when they're picked. You get the enzymes also. So I'm excited to be able to have something this close to us that's this fresh. And we can train residents here in helping us in the different processes of growing. We've had people helping us plant. We've had to help people helping us put towers together. When we harvest, we'll have people helping us 
do the harvesting and then when the tower is completely harvested we need a workforce in here cleaning this to start all over again. Once germinated, it takes about another month for the plants to grow into a full harvest. And when they mature, they will no doubt be enjoyed by all from farm to table. For more information on this new endeavor, go to risegarden.org. From Switchpoint in St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.